Let's compare two famous ballerinas in the same roles, Natalia Asapova and Svetlana Zaharova. You may know that classical choreography can look completely different from dancer to dancer, even if the steps are exactly the same. Dancers will vary the musical dynamics, the nuances of the head and the arms, and even the interpretation of the character to such a degree that sometimes it can even seem like a completely different ballet. These two ballerinas are a tale of two cities. Svetlana Zaharova trained at the Vaganova School in St. Petersburg, which is the school that feeds into the Marinsky Theater. The school and the ballet company were always known for being refined, polished, and elegant. Natalia Asapova trained at the Bolshoi Ballet in Moscow, which historically was always much more dramatic and emotive and really less technical than the Marinsky and the Vaganova school. Those differences have since faded, but in these two dancers, you can see the history. We'll start with Asapova in the second act of Giselle, and you can already 